Hey kids, once again we're doing a Man Eater series reviews uh, based on this multi pack that I have. I picked up from uh, uh, HamiltonBook.com. Com. Uh, doing the second movie, Eye of the Beast, giant squid movie. Well. Yeah, uh, in this situation, in this series, uh, my uh, review series, this is uh, three movies. I did a, a previous one uh, for a Dollar Tree Theater. And uh, if I come upon any more in this series, I will add on to the, uh, the reviews. This movie is directed by Gary Yates, Canadian director. This is essentially a Canadian movie. Uh, I think it was on Sci-Fi. This is a 2007. Uh, Yates seems to specialize in romantic movies, and he does direct this movie uh, kind of efficiently, uh, he keeps it at a nice steady pace and uh it, it's it's well done uh uh the writing is better uh there there's a uh, a push to add some depth to the characters to make them more interesting than uh the usual monster movie uh, i get a sense with the exact same team they could have even beefed up the uh uh the script even more uh along those lines if they they were uh they were given a, a bigger budget uh this is one of those you know it's supposed to be a small movie that's going to be on tv uh what this concerns with uh there's uh the usual fishing areas in this Canadian uh, island. Uh, their uh, fish seems to be disappearing. There's uh, racial tensions with the uh, uh, white uh, fishermen uh, with the indigenous population. Uh, uh, and they're, you know, they're basically blaming each other and such. Uh, but what's going on <clears throat> and what uh, ends up happening is this squid is in this area. There's a giant squid. And it's not just uh, going for the fish. Uh, eventually, it's going for humans. Uh, we have Mr. Uh, James Van Der Beek, uh, Dawson's Creek guy. Uh, he's the star, and he is this uh, sorry sap of a, <laughs> of a person. Uh, just everybody is on his case. But he's a, a scientist that goes to t the town. Uh, at first, it's to examine uh, you know, why is the are the fish being depleted, and of course, eventually, you know, there is a you know evidence of a monster. Uh, uh, the this one character, what's his name? Uh, Gunner, he, uh, he's a captain of one of the, uh, ships. B boats, really, uh, fishing boats. And, uh, he, uh, he, uh, does not believe that there's a squid. And, <laughs> until he believes it. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, but you know, there uh, go, again back to uh, Mr. Yates' directing uh, situation. Uh, there is a uh, a uh, young lady named, or her uh, the actress's name is Alex Ex Alexandro Castillo. She's uh, indigenous and um, but she's like the fishing wart or of the of the place and uh, she and uh, uh, Mr. Vanderbeek uh, you know they have an attraction uh, Kelly Wolfman I, ha I, I, I have to <laughs> I have to point her out Kelly there's a woman who an actress named Kelly Wolfman. Uh, she plays the uh, the captain's uh, uh, wife, and therein lies some of the depth with the uh, character. Uh, you know, they have conversations and such. Uh, decent writing. Uh, acting by, by any level is actually quite good in this movie. Uh, it's a decent... Um, you know, story, you end up having the, uh, of course, the white uh, fishermen and the indigenous have to, you know, team up. Uh, and the title of the movie, Eye of the Beast, I didn't realize it until the end that we were going to end up seeing the eye of the squid, and it it's a pretty... It's a short, but it's a pretty decent scene uh, at the end of it. Uh, essentially, this is kind of Jaws-ish in a way, but uh, you know, with different a different dynamic with the uh, the different fishermen and the, the tension there. Uh, that's a lot different. Uh, I think, even though I would like this, out of the other... Two, there, there was a previous Dollar Tree theater that I, that I did with one of these. Uh, Swamp Devil. I think I like those two better than this one, but I, this is still a you know, surprisingly decent movie. Uh, the effects-wise, yeah, there are there's some CGI, but a lot of it is kind of these cheesy rubber uh, tentacles. I mean, you have to take the good with the bad, I guess. Uh, it's it, it. They handle it well, and uh, at first I thought they might have had just one tentacle, but they they have more than one. Uh, and this the the sequence, uh, big sequence at the end is actually handled pretty well. Uh, yeah. Eye of the Beast from the Man Eater series. Uh, pretty decent uh, flick. There's the uh, triple feature I got from Hamilton Book. Well, until next time, stay safe and always have a good time. Bye now.